tonight, I'm Leroy Morrison, and tonight we're at Lakeside Speedway with Casey Cheeseworks. And tonight will be Clink's Auto and Diesel Repair Night at the Races, with it featuring the UMA Late Models, USRA Modifieds, USRA Stock Cars, USRA B Mods, Factory Stocks, and Grand Nationals. After an, a week of uh, getting rained out, back got track dried out, and we'll be racing tonight. As they say, welcome to Lakeside. Let's go racing, boys. So Herrick still your leader as they come into turn four. Here's the pressure now with the 417 of Anderson. Hensler in the blue number eight. Just behind them, there's her top three. But watch out for the zero five of Brett Heater on the low side now. With them back to the 26. Back into that fifth spot. But right now the battle is for that lead spot. Herrick in the 5K. Here's the 417 of Anderson on the high side. Good battle up front here between your top two in the USRA stock car class here tonight. Heater, the 05 now on the low side. This is interesting. We're watching some low side and high side. Both grooves right now are working for different drivers, different setups. So Herrick, still your leader. Anderson, again, utilizing that high side. But Heater making it up here on the low side in the 05. Hensler also on the high side in the 8. Big battle back here for that fifth spot. Nick Zinn in the 31, the T2 of Tom Fogarty with him in the 26. So good battle back there as well for that fifth spot. But back to the front of the field, Herrick now starting to make his way and starting to separate a little bit from your top cars. So the 5K of Herrick, the 417 of Anderson, the 05 of Heater, your top three. Hensler, the 26 of Witham, still scored in that top five right now. That was his lap number six. So halfway, halfway, let's see if Herrick, again, new car back down on the track this week, now getting some pressure right behind him. Heater in the 05 and the 417 and Anderson. Heater back to that low side and turns one and two. Let's see if he can make it up. He does. Moves up into that second spot now. Brett Heater in the 05. So Herrick now has some challenge. He looks down and says, uh-oh, here's the 05 of Heater coming out of turn number four. Herrick trying to hang on to that lead. Heater, good battle up front, your top two. Anderson just lurking right behind them. Hensler and then the T2 of Fogarty ends it up as your top five right now. So good side-by-side -side action with the USRA stock cars between Heater now is going to slide job all the way up into turn number four. Holds on to it. He's your new race leader, Brett Heater in the 05. Herrick now fighting back now on the low side midway up. Heater now has to get off that low side. Let's see now if Herrick in the 5K can make that back up side-by-side -side action coming out of turn number two. Down into three and four. Anderson in the 417 just behind them. It's the eight of Hensler and the T2 of Tom Fulker to your top five. But right now it's Brett Heater. Two to go this time the cross. Lap number 10 for your USRA stock cars. Brett Heater. With the stock cars and the lead, this would be feature win number four for Brett Heater. 
Brett Heater as your leader. Herrick's hanging on to that second spot. The 417 of Anderson as the white flag comes out. There's your top three. Hensler, the battle's back here for fourth, fifth, and sixth. McGinnis in the 17 also moving up there. So the 05 of Brett Heater. This will be his fourth feature win of the year. If he can hang on here as he will out of turn number four, your winner tonight in the 05, Brett Heater. Herrick in the second spot, the 417 of Anderson. Hensler hangs on to fourth in Tom Fogarty. McGinnis in the 17 with him in the third. As he gets up and out of the car, get him ahead, Brett Heater! NRT chassis, commercial fleet service, contender shocks, pit stop catering. Just sponsors in Darren Kling down here tonight. Each of these guys are getting some racing products. So we'll get him in the photo as well. Cheater here, race engines, Brett Heater. Got the whole family down here tonight. The kids hanging on to that trophy. He says, oh, we got that trophy. Good battles, they go down into one and two. Smith on that high side, Royalty almost up into the wall. Tanner in that second spot, Colton Stevens, and then the 42 of Gene Claxton, your top five here right now. As I come across on lap number two, Brad Smith, your winner last week, still your race leader. Tanner, Royalty looking strong early this season in that number three, but here comes Colton Stevens side by side in turn number two. So Colton Stevens and then that 42 of Gene Claxton again in your top five. But look out for Tim Powell in the 57 as he starts to move up. So right now, Brad Smith, Tanner, Colton Stevens, royalty now loses some sheet metal. High in turn number two. That's going to bring out a yellow flag. I believe that came off the three of Patrick Royalty as he was getting high up in turns number one and two. We'll take a look at that car as it comes by. Yeah, it does look like some sheet metal on the back side of that. All right, green flag flies as they come down the front stretch with Brad Smith. Tanner still hanging on to that second spot. Royalty now comes out strong on the high side of turn number two. Here comes Powell in the 57 and then 222 of Colton. Stevens on the back side here as the nine of Mars goes around. He continues debris on the track as well. Debris on the track up there in turn number three. I believe that came off the nine of Don Mars as he started to go around, I believe, back there on the back side. There's Don on the front side now. Yeah, some damage to that car, John. All right, Powell gets up into that top four spot now. So you got the 99 of Smith, Royalty, and Tanner. The 20 and the 3 are fighting for that spot. Here comes the 57 of Powell up into the four spot, and then Claxton into the 42. There's your top five right now. Colton Stevens sliding back just here a little bit. Now Brad Smith starting to pull away from your field here on lap number six. So Tanner, here comes Powell on the low side in the 57. He gets by Royalty. He takes that third spot away now. 
Royalty slips back. Then the 42 again of Claxton, the 222 of Stevens. Halfway. halfway this time across, halfway this time with Brad Smith, your race leader. Also the feature winner the last time we raced. Here comes Tim Powell now up into that second spot. He gets by Tanner in the 20 T. So now Powell, let's see if he can muster up something to get by Brad Smith. Brad Smith though starting to pull away here. Lap number eight as they cross this time. So Smith, the 57 of Powell, the 20 of Tanner. Good battle back through the three of Royalty and the 42 of Claxton. Ben Stockton in the 20S, just in behind that cluster at the front, but it's Brad Smith. Lap number nine, still your race leader, looking strong in that new Rage chassis this year. Seems to have found something in that 99 as he is your feature winner the last time out. All right, <clears throat> two to go, I believe, this time across. Five to go, five to go for Brad Smith. Tim Powell starting just a little bit to close the gap on your leader. Let's see if he can work his way up there. Tanner still in that third spot. Claxton now gets by Royalty up into fourth. Claxton up into that fourth spot. Royalty staying on the high side. So Claxton, Royalty, Stevens, Neiman, Stockton. And back to your leaders in turns three and four. Still Brad Smith. Tim Powell trying to figure out some way that he can close the gap on the 99 of Smith. But Smith right now is flying on that high side, especially down in one and two. Powell goes, oh, I'm going to try something on the low side here. He started to close that gap a little bit, so keep an eye out on Tim Powell in the 57. So Smith and Powell, and Powell is really starting to close that up a little bit. Let's keep an eye on that as the two to go signal that time across on lap number 13. Still Tanner, Claxton and Royalty. But Powell closing that gap ever so slowly. Let's see if he's going to have enough laps to make a challenge. Brad Smith still your leader in the 99, but here comes Tim Powell. Getting he's getting closer, closing that gap. Does he have anything left for him? Might not have enough laps left, but he's closing it in turn number two on the low side. Let's see if he'll have some for Smith down here in turn number three and four. As Smith stays with his line upside in the Rage chassis, comes down just a little bit. Tim Powell in that second spot. It's Brad Smith. Tim Powell, your top two cars. Good battle there. Tanner, Claxton, Royalty, Stevens, the 180. We'll get in a few words with Brad. The 23, 23rd Street Brewery. Schroeder performance engine, Rage chassis, and I tell you what, these guys are fast this year. Tell you what, Brad, wow. Fast car this year. Yeah, how, how do you like in the new chassis? Oh, I love it. Oh, yeah, I got to admit, it's uh, it's pretty fast. Uh, I kind of let up there at the end a little bit uh, conservative because I just wanted to pick up that win. Yeah, I so we saw Tim Powell's just starting a little bit. Did you see him down there at all? No, nah, I didn't. I was just eyes forward and keep the pedal down. All right, I know you have a lot of folks and people that and sponsors that help you with the car. It's always nice to mention them as well. Oh, I got too many of them. There's a whole bunch of them on the car. You guys come on down after the races or whatever. I'll sign a little uh, picture for you. Uh, I got to thank my crew, uh, Luke, Adam, uh, Dennis, everybody. I uh, just uh, can't appreciate their help. All right, Brad Smith, your winner tonight. Put your hands together for Brad Smith. Benninger, a previous feature winner, comes out of turn number two. Aaron Moran again, just right behind him. Can Aaron Morant take two feature events here tonight at Lakeside Speedway? Well, we're going to find out. Shaftman on the high side in the 34. Here comes the 33 of Lyle. And then the 13 of Eric Hanna. There's your top five. 
So Benninger, Morant, the 34 of Chapman, the 33 of Lyle. And now the 1K of Tim Carrick up into that fifth spot now. There's your top five. Benninger starting to pull away from the field here a little bit on lap number two. So Benninger, Morant, Lyle looking good tonight in the red 33, the Mick Lamb 33 car. As he gets by Schaffman, and now he takes that third spot away. Schaffman, still a battle for that for those positions. Carrick slips back. Here's the seven of Justin Johnson now up into the top five. Justin Johnson, Carrick just behind him in the 1K. Here comes Davis in the 68, the 75 at Gunner Martin. Back to the top of the field, though. Your race leader, Nick Benninger, in the 3B. Benninger, a feature winner, I believe, on night number one with your USRA Modifieds back on the 14th of April. So Benninger, Morant, Lyle, Schaffman, Justin Johnson, the 1K of Carrick, the 68 of Davis, 75 of Martin, Hannah in the 13, Park in the 175. Five down. Five down, so 15 to go. Let's see if somebody's going to be able to reel in. Nick Benninger is on a rail tonight. High side and turns three and four. He's making a run down the front stretch now. Here comes Morant just in behind him. So Lyle Schaffman, and again, Justin Johnson still in your top five. Nick Benninger looking very strong here tonight in that 3B. Has almost a straightaway lead on the field here right now on lap number seven. Now a battle for the second spot as Lyle goes low side in turn number two, trying to get by Morant in the 70. So Aaron Morant now battle with Lyle. Schaffman just behind them, so we'll see how that shapes up. Justin Johnson, the 1K of Carrick. Davis in the 68. Martin in the 75. Hannah in the 13. But Nick Benninger may get in the lap traffic here in just several laps if we continue under this green run. Nick Benninger looking strong here tonight in the 3B. Morant on the high side still in 1 and 2. Lyle. Just about three car lanes back in that 33 car. Shaftman and again Justin Johnson in the seven. Ten laps down. Just ten to go now. Halfway. Racing on the river's edge here at Lakeside Speedway every Friday night. So be sure to join us. That's Nick Benninger now. Into lap traffic, just as we had talked about a couple laps ago. That's actually Austin Charles in the 81 car. Austin Charles in the 81. The grandson of Tom Charles. Happy birthday to Tom, by the way. Trying to get some steady lap time with the A-Mods here tonight. But meanwhile, Benninger in lap traffic now. Just in front of him, the 97 of Brian Johnson, the 2 of Mike Eisenhut, and the 175 of Jason Park. Look back through the field. Here's Aaron Morant now as he comes through 3 and 4. Now Benninger down the front stretch. Aaron Morant trying to pick his way through traffic as Lyle now gets almost to the tail of the 70 of Aaron Morant. Let's see if Lyle can make that pass up here in turn number 2 on the low side. Aaron making the run on the high side. Here comes Lyle into that battle for the second spot. Let's see if the lap traffic comes into play again. And it looks like it could. It's good side-by-side -side action for this second spot. Meanwhile, Nick Benninger here in turn number two on the high side. Good battle for second between the 70 of Morant and 33 of Lyle. Everybody maintains their line and Lyle takes that spot away in the lap traffic. Chad Lyle, the veteran driver in the 33 Takes that second spot away. Morant now back into third to see if he can fight back. Here comes Schaffman in the 34, and that'll be the 7 of Johnston Johnson. And he's getting a challenge from the 68 
of Davis now. Side-by-side -side action coming out of turn number two all the way through the field here. This is lap 16, 15. 16 as they go by this time. So Benninger, still your leader, coming into turn number two. It's the 33 of Lyle, the 70 of Morant, trying to fight back as well. Going back through the field here, Schaffman just behind them. Also, the 68 now, the 68 just gets by Justin Johnson. So Davis, carry Davis up into that fifth spot. Now the 68 of Davis. Benninger, oh, we got a spinner down here in turns number one and two. Jason Park, I believe, in the 175 goes around. His first night out, by the way. Talked to him into the pits tonight. He'd gotten a new car late last year. Then had some problems in the uh, Nationals here last year, so his first night. Very bar and grill, and scenes, um, droll, big bang fireworks. Give him a hand as he comes out. Nick Vinegar. River Valley Egg, West Star. <clears throat> Again, Nick with his second feature win this year. Got up front and never gave it up there tonight, Nick. Again, we want to thank Darren Kling and the whole family, your business out there. Darren, thank you so much for uh, helping out with the drivers. Looks like the crowd. Oh, there's, there's the crowd. There they're coming. Nice and close, nice and close. There you go. And Lakeside Speedway fans, thank you for making Lakeside your dirt of choice on Friday nights. Be sure to join us again next week, June the 3rd, our NOAA Bandage Project Night, along with Valvoline Racing. We'll get a few words in here with Nick Benninger. Hey, Nick, uh, really strong out there tonight. You got up front. It looked like that high side was really working for you. Yeah, the car was rolling really well. We've uh, been kind of struggling, been uh, doing the opposite thing we should be, and we've known better for a long time. So we're uh, now we're finally listening to ourselves and leaving it alone and just driving it. All right. Congratulations. I know you have a lot on your car here, people that help you out. We've got uh, River Valley Ag, Pennington, Amdro, um, Really, the guys that are with us tonight that we need to really thank, um, Eric and Talon Turner, um, all the fans, and uh, can't forget my crew, Eddie, Trent, my dad. Larry can't be here. He's out of town working. So uh, those guys are really the ones that make it happen. All right. Hands together. I know Nick Vinegar, your winner here tonight.